Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, this is my very first Maya 2015 tutorial and as you have probably noticed or heard, uh, there are quite a lot of new features in Maya 2015 and I'll be doing a series of short videos to explain these functions. Now this video is to explain one that I think is really cool, which is the walk mode in Maya. Okay, so what's that all about? Well, if you are in a game, like in a, a you know, first person shooter or something like that, then you have controls in your keyboard to move around in your scene, right? Now, when you're modeling in Maya, it can be very useful to view the scene that you've modeled from the character's eyes, if you will. And a while back, I did a tutorial on how to animate a walkthrough. Uh, problem there is that you have to predefine the path that you're going to use, and you kind of stick to that, okay? Now, in my 2015, you have the option to freely walk about, okay? Now, we're going to use this scene as an example, and as you can see, this is a very big and heavy scene, and I've used this one before. So I'm just going to hit 4 on my keyboard, so we're not, you know, putting too much load on the memory. And what we're going to do is, let's say we want to walk through this scene, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt X on our keyboard. And then suddenly you see this kind of uh, console uh, thing popping up on our screen. And down here it says walk mode. Press W, A, S or D and drag to move. Okay. So I'm just going to simply hold down my W key and click on my left mouse button. And as you can see, I'm starting to move forward. Right, and I can obviously move my mouse when I'm doing that. And when I decide to hit the A button, I'm moving to the left. When I hit the S button, I'm moving backwards. And when I hit the D button, I'm moving to the right. Now it's really simple but it can come in handy so it's I think it's really neat now when you want to get rid of this you just simply hit escape on your keyboard and there you go so alt x to activate it and escape to get rid of it okay that's it first one in this short series in my 2015 got any questions let me know as always and see you guys next time bye